What are you up to now? He often asks after you and his owls. What's even magic? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies. Professor Shah. Astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? 
You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very self-same stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Oh, hello. I'm Amit. We met in potions class. I'm happy to report that we've yet to have any explosions in this class. Oh, hello, Amit. Nice to see you again. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. I can't do that, I'll meet. You might need it. No, really, you can. And I won't. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I... Thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. All of good that did. How am I supposed- Not sure what you can learn from these astronomy tables that you can't learn from a cup of tea leaves. Professor Shah is just about as cold and distant as the bloody stars she wants us to chart. <sighs> Not how I wanted to spend my evening. The constellations are beautiful. Not sure they're worth dying of a cold for, but they are beautiful. Our meat thinks he knows everything. He even told me he can speak gobbledygook. Sounded like gibberish to me. I had heard about these odd stone tables out in the Highlands. Perhaps that's what Professor Shah was talking about. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. <sighs> All of good that did. How am I supposed to find Sirius in my hand if you call the telescope? Incendio! <laughs> This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. Ah, a pristine night for stargazing. Professor Shah, I'm interested in learning more about astronomy. It is increasingly rare to find a student who seeks after things celestial of their own accord. 
But if you truly desire to chart the courses of the cosmos, you must rid your mind of the terrestrial babble of others. We ourselves are not unlike blank star charts, you know? Empty canvases waiting to be inscribed with all that the universe has to offer. Do you understand? Am I right in thinking you are unimpressed by divination? Of the many other so-called disciplines taught here, divination is perhaps the most feeble, especially in its nonsensical practice of astrology. Do not confuse astronomy and astrology. One is concerned with mysteries stellar and lunar, the other is mere lunacy. You mentioned astronomy tables earlier, in class. What were you talking about? Long ago, devotees of the astral arts set up stone slabs across the countryside. They are ideal for studying constellations near and far. For centuries, wizards made use of these astronomy tables for stargazing. Sadly, they have since become mere monuments to the intrepid intellectual pursuits of a bygone epoch. Thank you, Professor. I look forward to stargazing. I am glad to hear it. Should be a stellar night for it. The perfect night for... Oh, hello again. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform, something that doesn't quite belong. We'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Some say the locations of the tables were originally marked by... for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not that creepy out here at night, is it? The Gobstones Club are cowards. Here I am, charging ahead. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. A little four -pointing. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Rebellion. Oh, of course. It's just not as tidy as I expected. Incendio. Revelio. More cobwebs. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh no. Look, not this close to table. school, Amit. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out.
Incendio. Amit, could I ask you something? Oh, um, certainly. Why are you so fascinated with stars? I suppose because there is so much to learn about them. I mean, there is plenty to learn about a lot of subjects, but astronomy seems limitless. Always something new being discovered. They are forever discovering new moons and stars. In fact, they discovered a new planet just 50 years ago. Actually, that's all I wanted to know. Oh, very well then. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Stargazing is all about patience and precision. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope. Don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You're welcome. It has goblin-cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you pronounce your R's. Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Ah, never do get tired Rebellion. of seeing the astronomy tower at night. What a view. Rebellion. Rebellion.
I've always said that travel broadens the Revelio. What seems to be the problem? You may well ask. I'm convinced I saw a grim, an omen of death. I'm not safe, but if it can't see me, I'll be all right, won't I? All I need is an invisibility potion. Yes, that's what I need. Well, as it happens, I have what you need. Here, not sure it'll help you though. Be careful, won't you? You're a gem, you are. I'll be sure to be very careful. And you be careful, too. No Grim is going to get me. Thanks to you, kind child. I must insist that you accept this small token of me gratitude. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Psst, over here, quietly. I am glad that you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Lassie, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hog's Head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's a long story, one I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. Can't we just bypass off as a singer and go directly to the ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The ministry will come in later. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here after all. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Lumos. I most please be included.
I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. be another way in. That looks as if it might raise the gate. Do it this way. I will get the door. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. Yeah, restrain the face. Hi, Wing. Do you know that hippogriff? Get this thing back to now. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Blasted! There's got to be another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. I hope Natty stays out of trouble. Those that think that their plan is to solve part of the roof is the recent level. Why we fall out twice each? We would all have taken it. Not the safest place to sneak into. Ha! Time to teach someone a lesson! 
Revenue. Alohomora. Revenue. I hope Natty's having an easier time of it. Hello, Hamora. You're going home in a wooden box! Oh! Let you so. Get back here or I'll have you stewed like a lamb! Let me so. Let me out so. It would appear that Let you're me, grossly go. out of match. Come to Cynthia. Not your bed bringo. Alohomora. Revelio. Oh no, Deke was right. We need to save you from these barbarians. Rebellio. Wing. It's all right. There we go. <gasps> there you are. 
Come on. A lot more. Hurry. There's the Hogwarts Express. Must be returning from an unscheduled run. It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> it was exhilarating, wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. <laughs> Not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Hyrum before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. I assume you have news regarding the goblin. Why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? 
When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share with you. Revelio. <laughs> Professor Howen will never believe this. Revelio. The Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> Oh, 
seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. Uh, as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. regarding Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Rebellion. 